Let's go. Yay. <laughs> I love talking everything. about the game. I love talking you about Smash Bros. Everything. I didn't ruin anything. I said yay. But anyway, we're going to be getting into game one here. We've got Yez. Keep in mind, Yez actually lost really early. Uh, what was it? Earl for M? Earl was that the name? M. Earl of M. Earl of M. Earl of M. Oh, that one could have been a huge early stock right there. So for the, if you're not aware of who Yez is by now, this dude Where is monstrous. He's an absolute menace to so many players uh just he's got great great damage output uh finds some early kill options and like you're, you're in for a treat for sure 100 percent yeah and i again yes is the only non mk leo person to win a pgr that is that is a monstrous achievement and oh my god <laughs> He wanted to kill that badly. He was willing to sacrifice his own stock, even at low percent. <laughs> Let's go, yes. Let's go, yes. And just a monster of a player here. But PK Chris, a good player in his own right. And he's here for a reason in top eight of Emmett, the largest MSM we've seen yet. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is a huge episode. What was it, 830 something players? Something along those lines, that's for sure. Yeah, it's it's been absolutely insane. Uh, oh, 766. Um, I could have sworn that we've had like 800, but either way, that's a lot of players, man. That's so many players. Yes, already off again to a fantastic start on this second stock because the first stock kind of just Whoa. got evaporated by both of them at the same. Hope he does for it again. A second, for a second, in my mind, I was like, "What if he does it again?" What that would have been cool if he did it again. That would be. It would be cool, but it would also be kind of disrespectful. It's kind of like I don't need this stock. Yeah. But anyway, Yez going to be able to take out that second stock there. Uh, looking really good. I mean, despite the fact that he kind of threw away his first stock, um, he's been absolutely on fire. Uh, <laughs> if if PK Chris can't take this stock, I'm still going to count it as a three stock. That's, that's the only way I yeah, can. Yeah, I mean, he threw the stock away at, like, what was he at, like, 30? Ooh, ooh, that was ooh. a nice little setup right there. Down air into the up air. Um, that's just some good stuff. Ooh, no, not going to die? That's he's crazy. Still alive? Wow. Fantastic DI for Woo! Yet. <laughs> He's gone! <laughs> on Ike's body. But yeah, not much is going to be able to save you from uh, from Ness's back throw. It's just... You're gonna yeah, not at that percentage, but here we go. I mean, now this is kind of where it gets a little scary because uh, now you're down to your last stock, right? And PK Chris is starting to get some damage going here. Like, yeah, we've seen Yez do a fantastic job, but that early stock um, SD might come back to haunt him here. I mean, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it was an accident. I'm pretty sure you wanted to land on the stage or yeah, grab the ledge. The it was just King. slightly misspaced, yeah. Run off reverse up, dude. You call that the Raven King? Yeah, I love calling it the Raven King. <laughs> Damn, Raven that's King crazy. Was the first person I ever saw do it, and he does it more than any other Ike I've seen. So I'm, I'm mm. gonna call, I'm staunchly calling it the Raven King. Ooh, wow, almost a forward smash. Uh, to, I, I don't know if it would have shield poked, but I mean, that's a lot of shield damage. Dash attack there. Ah, uh, that's scary! Okay. <laughs> that was a little terrifying, but the back air right there, definitely going to close it out. Uh, Ness is too light, and it doesn't matter what DI you have, you're going to lose the stock there. We've got the kill screen and everything. Yes, with a little bit of a shaky moment there towards the end of the game, but finding a way to secure that game one. Uh, looking pretty good. Uh, PK Chris got a lot in their plate, man. Yeah, no, that was just a, a really good opening from Yez and a really good ending from Yez. But he did, like you mentioned, start to look a little bit shaky right about at the middle. And that's where I think that PK Chris has some headway to get into this set. Because sure, game one is pretty dominantly Yez, but there's a possibility. There's, a, there's an inkling of hope there. There, there is, um, but... I don't feel like that game should have been that close. Because <laughs> uh, you got to keep in mind, Yes, Yes did throw that that first stock away. Uh, that probably could have just been a pretty uh, strong um, uh, two stock game for the most part. But we're gonna get right into this next game here. Let's see if Yes can uh, not SD this time around. Again, PK Chris didn't look too bad though. Uh, started doing a pretty solid job. Of uh, bringing it back, taking advantage of that SD. Unfortunately, just not enough at the end. And Yez, I mean, we, we, Yez is just so explosive, dude. The, the, his damage output, the way he kind of like makes players uh, nervous and stuff like that the, um, with his aggression, it's, it's actually crazy. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, oh is the unit that just out this game, too? That's, that's not good if you're PK Chris. It's fantastic for all the Yezers out there. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, it's hit definitely for all for all the all the so, yes fans. <laughs> no, they're yes. Oh man, dude, oh, PK Chris got to get those texts, man, because those dash attacks are gonna be hurting. Oh, that could have been a scary situation. The back here gonna send yes way off stage. Gonna make it back, no problem. Whiffing a grab too. That looks like it could have been like a sudden reversal into something that was in Yez's favor. But PK Chris with a really good spot dodge out of the hit stun there to avoid getting grabbed there. Um, Yez with the grab back throw for stage positioning, and he's gonna put PK Chris all the way off stage. He's looking for another one of these bears again. Oh no! They're both dead. Um, what? <laughs> okay. You know what? Yez was like, "Hey man, I know I SD to stock game one." Uh, but I'm just going to make you throw away his stock in this game, too. And, man, no, here we go. 52% was... already? Ugh. That was so worth it. It was Absolutely. worth it, for, for sure. Because now you have a whole fresh stock. Look, 52% right now on PK Chris's final stock in this game, too. Oh! <laughs> Dude, as soon as I see Yez starting to throw out smash attacks, it, like, you know he's feeling it, man. You know he's in the zone. It's scary. Yep, there it goes. Whoa, that back that... air. Yep. These drop down bears are oh, gorgeous. Yes is not happy about dropping the loser's bracket as early as he did. This is gonna Yes is like speed running the set, dude. Yeah, it's kind of insane, dude. I kind of feel bad for PK Chris. I mean, the thing is, is like, this is great experience to have, right? Um, we all know Yes is a very, very, very capable player. Uh didn't he win a ju uh, a lunchbox, right? He did. Uh he yeah. took it over Shiny Mark. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, that was a juice box. Yeah, that, that was, was a fun a juice box. box. That was a lunchbox. There was a lunchbox where Yes beat Shiny Mark for the victory. It was, was like it? game I... 10 grand. Could have sworn that was I, a juice box. I know this for a fact because I remember HBox screaming about it. Who did Shiny Who did Shiny Mark play uh, when they won the juice box? Uh, it. I know he beat... Hang on, I'm pulling the... I'm going to my top 8 archive. One second. Oh, yeah, you, you do your thing. But anyway, yeah, great stuff so far. Yez looking like an absolute monster. Um, oh, it was Sonics. Yeah, good stuff, Helvet. It was, it was Sonics. You're right. Yeah, I, we already found that out. Just as I pulled... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> We're getting into this game three. Here we go. Battlefield is going to be the stage here. Um, <sighs> I don't like this pick at all. I don't like I'm, this pick because Yez, Yez is gross on Battlefield. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm Yez, I... Ike loves Battlefield. So yeah. For PK Chris, I I hate this pick for you, bro. Yeah. I mean, hey, listen. What matters most is, like, if you're comfortable on a stage, that can do wonders. But, like, still, like, as comfortable as you might be on Battlefield, Yez is so Yez gross is here, man. So, so gross on this stage. Same with uh, with Yoshi. Yez just really likes triplats. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, it's like it's Ike's got those big sweeping hitboxes, covers all, like, all the platforms, that entire center area, too, with that Nair. So uh, it, it definitely so becomes a bit of a problem. We're talking a whole lot of smack about his stage choice, but for the first time this entire set, PK Chris is in the lead. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, comfort uh, is can go a long way. Like, even if your character is technically bad on a stage, if you are comfortable on a stage, like, that does a lot more because your mentality is kind of clear at that point. You're, you're doing well. Um, it, it goes a long way. But, I mean... We'll have to see if PK Chris can keep up that momentum. Oh, that's a big up smash, man. You know Yez is feeling it right now. He is on top of his game. Uh, PK Chris got to be careful, man. You don't want Yez to get into that mode because uh, it could be a bad, bad time. I mean, we see already know that he's up. Oh, wow. He just threw away that stock. Whoops. There was the the air dodge. He buffered in it. I think he was trying to buffer a roll get up. And the maybe the yeah. hit him off. And he just ended up throwing out an air dodge. There was no recovering from that. Okay. Well, right now, PK Chris is going to run with that. That's a lot of big damage right now. 49%. That's some good extra credit. That's not going to kill. The thing that I'm thinking about right now, like, I hate to, to be thinking about, like, the next game. But should PK Chris take this game? Then it's Yez's counterpoint. That's yeah, a scary, it's a scary tough time. thing because Yez is very comfortable on a whole bunch of stages. But thinking, speaking of comfortable, popping off that stage and down being for the victory there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this could be a big opening for Yez. No, PK Chris going to send Yez back off stage. See if you can get another opening. You got to find a way to, to kind of... Oh, dude. I'm telling you, man, as soon as Yez starts smash attacking, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bad time. It's a bad time. <laughs> All right, good PK Thunder. Just kind of keeping the uh, the juggle going. Yeah, and they're honestly, I hate to say it, this is even. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Yes, could absolutely take a stock here. 
Ooh, side yep. B gonna connect, and this is very, very scary to be. Uh, very scary place to be for PK Chris. He does manage here to regain center stage control, and now he has turned a very disadvantageous spot into a very good one. And yes, Ooh. getting caught by that PK fire into fair off stage. Gonna be the stock taking very, very good advantage of Ike's ex uh, exploiting Ike's recovery. Yeah, no, that was actually a fantastic play from PK Chris. Uh, we'll have to see if he can continue uh, this gameplay right now, because this game, too, has been very, very good for him so far. Uh, he's got Yez on the final stack, 57%. Uh, that's a big Aether, and he's going to die. Uh, yes. Ooh, this is bad. I was just <laughs> giving PK Chris a lot of uh, a lot of praise here, but he's not careful. Yes, he's going to run away with this game, and it's, it's very possible. PK Chris, again, he's been playing this... Entire game three, very, very well. Ooh, no, 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 no. That uh -oh. was so bad. That's going to be a lot of percent. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, and if I'm not wrong, yes is the first seed of this event, I think. Right? Um, yeah, probably. Uh, because I'm thinking about who else is in the in the bracket, and I'm pretty sure... Fit, Atomisk. I think yes would be the first seed. Yeah. Sounds about right. Okay. So, like, this Ooh. is, this is a, a mountain and a half to climb. Oh, counter. That was such a smart counter. Ugh, that was a just, it, even smarter quick draw. Like, that was actually pretty crazy. And now we got a uh, yes with rage and Ness and kill percentage. Uh-oh. No, no. Ah! no, yes, what are you doing? <laughs> you should have just ate it at that point. <laughs> yes, going for some saucy stuff and going to give, uh, not give a game to PK Chris. PK Chris are in that game. Uh, so yeah, PK Chris gonna take that game three. Good stuff so far. We're gonna be getting into a game four here. But like you said earlier, we got Yez with the counter pick. So um, uh oh, <laughs> we'll yeah, see. Yeah, no, it's a uh, counter pick. Yez is a terrifying beast because if you ban Yoshi, or if you ban like it, depending on your bans, he'll take you to Yoshi's. If you ban Yoshi's, he'll maybe take you to Battlefield. If you ban Battlefield, he'll probably just take you to PS2. Like there are so many good stages, and I honestly mm -hmm. don't think Ike has a bad stage. Just stages that he. Uh, are town good. and city. Town is okay for Ike, but back air at four, uh, back air at seventy on the side platform is just mm -hmm. going to murder you. Same with up. Well, not even just that. If you're able to catch an Aether. Uh, yeah, like, up, um, up doing the, the Raven King, like you like to call it, then that can blow up stocks at, like, especially at Ness being as late as he is, could be, like, 60, 70. Yeah, no, there's, like, I, Ike doesn't have bad stages, and I'm staunchly going to stand by that. All right, well, let's see what the option is. We're kind of waiting for them maybe, to make their bands, I assume. like, point of pride, Yez runs it back to Battlefield. I'd honestly like to see that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, also, a little bit of an update. TM4 and Captain Tensito are uh, one apiece at the moment. So, they're currently in game three. Uh, so, that should be interesting. That's got to be a tough matchup for me, Gunner, huh? Ness? Ness does very, very well against energy-based characters, i.e. Samus, i.e. me, Gunner. Yeah, because like, uh, the other side of it is... Because um, not only does uh, Captain Tensito run the charge shot, but also that, that bomb... Uh, the mine there, that could actually just... That's like free free health for uh, for Ness. Because Ness does kind of like the same thing when they're playing against Snake. They kind of wait for the grenades to blow up and just kind of absorb all the uh, explosive damage. Yeah. Um, I definitely think it's like... it. It's, there's, there's sparks flying over there in the Major's quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like neither of them left the arena, at least that I saw. So I think we're running it back to BF. Uh, we will see. Hmm. Or maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kind of waiting here. Yeah, he's getting a, getting a drink. Speaking of getting a drink, everyone in chat should be staying hydrated right about now. Make sure you hydrate. Lots, lots of water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. It is the key. Uh, key to what? Being cool. You could have said healthy. No. Yeah, you're right. Healthy's not cool. Because pizza is, isn't healthy, but pizza is really cool. I love Not pizza. Not going to lie, I, I could go for some pizza right now. Uh, dude, after moving to Virginia, that was like one of the things I was worried about was trying to find a good pizza place. But there's this uh, you can find there's this place. Anyway. It, it's, it's called Blaze Pizza. It's not like the most amazing pizza I've had, but it's pretty solid. Um, it, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty solid. I liked it. I think it's a franchise too. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it was, it was pretty solid. I liked it. It reminds me of a pizza place back home that I really liked. 
So, uh, so I, I was pretty happy with it. But here we go. We're going to be getting into game four. The yes counter pick. Where are we going? Now, let's see, we're going right back to Battlefield. I think this is a smart pick. Uh, yes, yes can absolutely take this game here. Uh, PK Chris did a fantastic job in that game three. Maybe they can get the same success in game four. I'm sure they're going to be looking for it. But you got to keep in mind that uh, Yez oh, is... Yes, uh, I think Yez threw away two stocks, right? In, um, yeah. in game three. Yeah, because we had the uh, the buffered air dodge. And then uh, that last stock, he probably could have like gotten an Aether and just absolutely you know, just spiked uh, PK Chris to to the blast zone. But um, you know, end up the getting pressure. caught up in a weird scenario. <laughs> The sheer presence of Yez just run off, hop back, run off, hop back. It's terrifying. Yep. Okay, there we go. Gonna be get right to the ledge. Throwing out a counter. Uh, okay, I didn't think we were gonna get a decent uh, punish off of it, but no, PK Chris still getting a little bit of damage, finding a forward air. Yes, there we go. looking a little bit more nervous than he was at the start of game two. And I know the, the SDs definitely helped PK Chris out during that game, but Yes is looking shakier than he did at the start of this. Thing. I think and Yes it, it is just showing more Chris respect. Is, yeah, PK Chris has also been playing a lot better than he did at the start of the set. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's also a factor of Yes starting to respect. respect yeah. These I mean, because 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 Yes Yes, yes, yes is better when he was just trampling all the options. Yeah. No, because like when Yes is like feeling himself, like if he thinks he, he's a better player, he does get tend to get a little bit saucy, and. Um, and maybe it's just like after dropping the game, he's just starting to show PK Chris some respect. But outside of that, I think PK Chris is just kind of rising to the occasion here a little bit because uh, those first, like the first game, like the problem is first two games, you're like, you're like, crap, I'm playing Yez. Like everybody, you know, we know how good of a player Yez is. He's a fantastic player. And maybe PK Chris was letting the nerves get to him a little bit. And then after those first couple games, he's kind of realized, hey, you know, I can do this. And after game three, maybe they got like a, a newfound confidence there. You know, a little bit of that ego uh, to probably take this game four. Maybe Don't force a game five situation. Back. Maybe take the uh the set in general but i mean still you gotta you gotta find a way to just eliminate yes right now looking pretty damn good a bit, of, a bit of an ego thing for yes to take him back to battle mm, uh, maybe i i would probably like there there are certain players out there who are too proud to count them. if they lose on a stage they will keep playing on that stage until they win on that stage and mm. it, it has cost a lot of people sets yeah but here we go. I mean, right now, PK Chris continues to play this uh, this whole game fantastically right now. The second stocks right here, um, it's been all PK Chris. 147 right now. A back throw would absolutely decimate this stock. Ooh, that's going to be a big punish. Forward Whoa. throw off the stage. No, back throw. Okay, not going to kill. Uh, but you know what? That's kind of okay. Uh-oh, that's... Oh, great stuff from Yez. Finding a way out of it. That forward air was surely going to cost the stock. But, uh, but Yez is getting out of that PK fire fantastically. But there we go. That Nair going to secure the stock anyway. Yeah, no. PK Chris looking like a monster at the moment. There we go. Yep. Yez yeah, going to continue to try and pile on some damage here. Oh, Ooh, that's big. Oh! oh, I thought that was going to kill. Both of yeah, us I thought, thought so too. that was going to kill. Mm -hmm. Ooh, great. Uh, great spacing. Or not spacing, but like uh, just kind of waiting it out. Didn't get anything out of it, but just kind of like when a player starts moving uh -oh. like that, it gets a little nervous. Oh, no. Hopefully, PK Chris doesn't let that get to him. Uh, that stock had a whole lot of room to breathe, so lo losing mm -hmm. it a little bit earlier than you definitely would have liked to. That can be demoralizing for a player, but let's see if PK Chris can shake it off or if Yez is going to capitalize on it. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Gonna get a bit of an opening right here. That's a one forward air. All right. Yeah, Yez definitely looking a little shook at the moment. Not being as crazy aggressive as he was in the first two games. But, oh, woo! never mind. If that F smash had hit, I would have lost my mind. Oh, wow, that's Tech really the unfortunate. Platform, that was really nice. Yeah, that was really nice. Again, missing the back air. I think she's going to be throwing the up air there. Just get that damage in. Uh-oh. Okay. I thought he was going to run off stage Definitely for the counter. Definitely going to be looking for an up B here. He wants, he wants the up B on the platform. I can feel it. Oh, and there yes. It is. <laughs> there Good it is. call out. Well, yeah, no, fantastic stuff from Yez. Just waited his time out, getting the up B onto the platform, like you said. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, PK Chris was looking fantastic all the way until uh, up to that moment. But, I mean, hey, 